Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. So yesterday was the three year anniversary of the Street Kings release. So to celebrate, I've released update 2.7 with three new cars. And alongside that, I'm also hosting this live event right here. Here, you'll be able to play multiplayer with me, check out the chat and just have a conversation, and also just kind of chill and do whatever. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, pretty even start right now. Pulling up here. Wow, this is a close race so far. Right behind me. I think the room may be full since if it's hit the five person limit, no one else is going to be able to join. We'll cycle out though. So if the room gets full and you're not able to join for a bit, we'll actually I'll actually make a new room so that you can join back in later. It's fast on the straights. Oh wow, that was a good one. That's a good one. Let's see who wants to race next. So let's see, I has you. Oh wow, that's a tier five car. Uh, I has you. You need to use a tier one car. All right, let's see if I have skill issues and I lose this race. Yeah, that probably is Uber Morph. Uh, I know that their Discord name is like skill issues or something like that, so that makes sense. He knows my name. He knows my name. All right, so my car definitely pulls ahead in acceleration, but we'll have to see how it goes in the corners since that's what most of this mountain route is. Yeah, so circuit races in online are a bit tricky because of the pathfinding algorithm that's used. Um, it's something that I could look into in the future, but at least initially, I feel like it made more sense to do just regular point-to-point -point races in online. Will we ever get more tuning parts for old cars? Potentially. Uh, it takes a lot of time to remodel these though, so we'll have to see about this. Whoa, don't hit me, dude. Um, oh, I has you is not even the one racing me. Alright, there we go. Let me actually send a chat message and see if I has you gets the idea. Um, let's try and tell them that we need tier 1 cars. I don't know, I'm just going to spam the message a couple times. Alright, is this Seiji's car? Yeah, I think it is. Alright, let's go. Still a pretty close race though, it's still anyone's at this point. Let's see if we're supposed to turn after this jump. Oh, no turn, just the finish right there. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy crash right now. All right, so looks like driver 03 wants to race first. So just a fun fact though, you actually don't want to take this route through the school. That's a bit slower because you'll have to turn. So I'm actually going to go this way instead and see if I can get the edge by having a better route planned out. Okay, and here's the turn that I'm talking about. I'm actually going to head straight here instead of following the GPS, since even though that route is faster by distance, you don't have to brake and turn on this route that I'm using right now, so it is a bit faster. In terms of a PC port, I'm not entirely decided yet, so I think right now my priority is more towards an iOS port. Cats, thanks for the comment about the game. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Ah, okay, that was my bad. Yeah, I kind of skidded into him. Looks like Dan, oh, Dan's actually behind, so Adam crashed out. Not sure what Adam's doing there, but still have the lead, at least for now. So I haven't really decided anything on the next update yet, since I think for the time being, at least, I'm going to focus a bit more on Left Turn Legend, and especially since my college semester is going to start pretty soon, so I think I'm also going to be a bit more busy with that as well, so... Next update is still kind of a while off at this point. So these jumps are pretty tricky. You have to slow down a bit more than you might expect, because if you don't, you're going to go flying way out of control. Uh, so multiple fan, multiple, multiple fan, sorry. That name is kind of hard to pronounce. I don't know why. Uh, not really seeing much uh, love for tier one and two, though. Yeah, I imagine that those might just feel a little too slow for you guys. 
All right, and it looks like Cake's got the new Monaco F8. This area is pretty tricky. So this is, fun fact, just actually based off the divided highway in Red Rock Ridge, which is a location in Need for Speed 3. It's an old racing game I played as a kid. And I really love this place in Need for Speed 3 because it's very difficult due to all the rocks in the middle. So I kind of decided to recreate it here in the Street King. I like the American flag wrap on the hood of the car. It looks pretty funny. I always love these, like, overly dramatic displays of patriotism. It's like kind of a meme at this point, which is why racers like uh, Cindy and the rest of the America crew exist in the game. Let's go. Wow, that car has fast acceleration. I'm wondering if uh, Milo's using the four speed. So that's one of the transmission. One of the four speed transmissions has absolutely bonkers acceleration. However, it tops out at like 130 miles per hour, so as soon as we hit the highways, I'm just going to fly past him. So Ghost Gaming, I, I don't know about streaming more often, actually. This is my first time streaming, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Oh wow, that was a bad crash. Uh, it is pretty fun, though. I guess my main concern is just time, and... Oh, okay. So Milo got me at the very end. I crashed right there. Oh hey, it's Jovali. Yes, I am a streamer now too, I guess, or something like that. So at the moment, I'm not planning to make any more boss races. I feel like the final boss is already a good ending to the game, especially since you've also got title defense races, which kind of bookend the game and make it so that you two are going to eventually get your title taken away as the Street King. Alright. Let's see, is this all of the... Oh, looks like we have KR Nitro now, so actually... Sorry guys, we're actually going to be stuck in Tier 2 for a while if people keep joining at this point. Uh, so there are no boss races after the final uh, boss race. Oh, let's see if I can do, make an overtake here. Oh no! Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's their win, that's their win. Shouldn't have spun them out there. Future plans for the game. I want to at least at some point port this to iOS. Uh, that might take a while though since it is pretty expensive. Apple really wants your money. Um, I guess continuing to add cars and stuff too as well. And I do have a couple other plans that I don't want to share at the moment just to kind of build up hype, you know? So, can't tell you everything at the moment. Yeah, so <laughs> just to give you guys a bit of perspective into how expensive iOS development is, with Android development on the Google Play Store, to get a developer license, I pay a one-time, so this is lifetime, $25 fee, and that's it. For iOS, I have to pay $100 per year, and I have to buy a Mac because they actually won't let you develop iOS apps without one. And so that's like a lot of money, and that's why it's taken so long. I've actually posted a few pictures of the car there. Alright, uh, GG uh, Kyoji, is that how you pronounce that? Right now, my favorite car is probably the Monaco F8. Uh, I spent a lot of time on that one, especially with all the body kits and conversions. Between all the bumpers and the taillights and everything. Looks like Speedy also crashed there. Yeah, I think we both tried to cut the apex of the turn a little too early. And... oh no! Little jump here. Oh, that was the finish line. It might actually be faster for me to quit and rejoin the room to, to warp over. Alright, this might be a very bad idea because someone might join the room before I do, so let me try that. Bruh. Ah, so people actually kicked me out of my own room. Is this just a straight line? Okay, so this is just a drag race. I don't know who's gonna win since I'm not sure how well my car is set up for this. So no nitrous. Um, okay, yeah, I am not going to be able to win this since this is just straight line, no turns at all. <laughs> Unless that happens. So I won a drag race with a slower car. Interesting. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I kind of... 
I, I took the cop into their lane. That was unintentional, but you know what? Let's just say it was planned and big brain move on my part. So this is the police station I was talking about. So just got a couple cop cars chilling here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna park between. Let's go. Oh, what's... Oh, am I going the wrong way, maybe? Interesting. Well, I guess they're choosing a different route. We'll see how this pans out. Ooh, that was a bit wide. They, may, they might catch me on this straight now. Yeah, I can hear them right behind me right now. We almost both got taken out there. I don't think we could have both fit through that gap at the same time. I feel like focusing on new content is more important than focusing on new parts of the map. I don't know, that's just my opinion though at the moment. Ah, that was too wide. So no, you can't drive the SWAT truck unfortunately. Uh, something to keep in mind is I feel like it would be like the ultimate grief for a car if I did make that playable in some way since people would just kind of go online and use it to ram because it's so heavy. So that's mostly my concern with like adding some of the police cars as playable. They're usually heavier than the player cars and because of that they can be kind of abused for ramming in that way. Yep, there we go, first place. Alright, I think everyone loves the Plastico lore so probably gonna go with this one. Alright, a bit of traffic in our way right at the start. And this car is basically almost maxed out as far as the Plastico goes. I think it only goes up to like rank 504 or so when you actually fully max it. So like, I think it's 496 right now and that's about as high as the Plastico is ever going to go. Alright, there we go. Okay, so it looks like we're going up into the mountains. Whoa. Oh, that was my bad. I accidentally hit you. Sorry, Glaceon. Alright, I need to figure out how to overtake here since I think this is this is my chance. There we go. Nice inside line overtake right there. Yeah, Plastico's the best car in the game. You should definitely win the whole game using the Plastico. So for the car names, I kind of like, I don't know, so some of it's just kind of meant to be funny, like Plastico, for example, is a play on how this car is basically just a bunch of cheap plastic from the early 2000s, you know? A lot of American cars from that time period had the same sort of thing going on. Um, other cars, for example, the S462T B Sport R. That is just a joke about how German cars all have overly long and complicated names with way too many numbers and letters. And then some of the other names are just kind of like meant to sound cool in the, and like match up with the car's personality, like say the Falconeer or the Monaco F8. So both of those just are meant to match the car's personality really. And there's the finish. All right, Plastico wins again. So they've got better acceleration than me, but I think I might be able to actually out corner them with this car. And I just spoke that into existence, I guess. Very first corner, got an overtake. And all I have to do now is just head straight into this wall. So I imagine we're probably going to crash if I just floor it, but let's see. No worries. So there's a couple reasons why the roadblock cars move. The first is probably just that it's more natural that way, right? Like I like to imagine that they're empty cars, and that's why you, or that way you don't really have a problem with them being crashed and stuff like that. If they're just empty cars, then it's like it's fine if you hit an empty car and absolutely destroy it. The other thing is performance consideration. So since this game does need to run on mobile, I need to make sure that it's not too intensive for mobile processors to run. Whoa, that was a close one. 
Oh wow, their car is not doing too well. Not even racing them though, so not really my concern at this moment. Let me overtake. Thank you. These corners can be a really uh, can be a little tricky just because they're blind. So especially in the oncoming lane, like if that green car had been a bit forward, ow, that would have happened where I hit them head on. And there it is. Really quickly, before we do a tier 5 room, I'm actually going to go head out and get some more water because I've run out and my throat is getting a little dry at this point. So I'll be back really quickly. I'm just going to head over and get some more water and then I'll be right back for a tier 5 room, alright? Okay. Yeah, so some people are rejoining, so if too many people rejoin that have already played, I'll just make a new room as with last time so that people who haven't played yet get a chance. Okay, not sure what happened to check there, but I'll take the overtake gladly. Need a break here so I don't go flying too far. Ow, that was pretty crazy right there. Hello, cop. Goodbye, cop. Just hopping out right here. So, not much at the moment. Bit of traffic, but nothing too major. Do bear in mind, though, that you need to be at least 13 years old to join Discord, so just so you know. I think I need to use Nitrous right at the beginning just to get a boost in acceleration since there's no turns or anything. Alright, yeah, so that helped me pull ahead at the beginning and hopefully it'll allow me to keep the lead, but not too sure how this is going to go. Alright, if their car's tuned differently, they might be able to overtake me here, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Oh no, something happened to them. I think they might have crashed out. Alright. Alright. So we win. Okay, so gonna have to pull a U-turn right off the bat. This is gonna be interesting. All right. Wow, that was a big crash. Everyone kind of died there. Hello everyone. If you're just joining in, this is the third anniversary of the Street King. So just kind of having a little fun here with the stream, you know, hanging out. If you guys can catch me, then you can get into the room with the room code in the bottom left corner. Might be a little tricky though, because a lot of people are very fast with this, so. I like pulling handbrake a lot on these turns. I find it pretty fun to just drift without even using the brakes, like the regular brakes. I don't know, it just feels very satisfying to go sideways like that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I see that in the chat now. Ghost Gaming wrecked their car. Unfortunate. I just kind of made myself the final boss for fun, so it was just like a stupid little easter egg. I don't think of in-game Raymond as actually being me, more of just like a dude who happens to be named Raymond because of their name being an easter egg. So it's not literally me being the final boss, it's just a dude whose name is a reference. Whoa. Alright. Just wanted to pull ahead there, but wow, their car is fast. Okay, this is our chance to take the lead. Uh, so Nico, with old trucks, I, I feel like the problem is that I don't want any cars to be tier 0 when stock. And with old trucks, they would definitely be tier 0. Like, they're not fast at all, so... The other concern I have is that I've mostly steered clear of trucks and SUVs because I'm not sure how they would fit in with the rest of this game's, like, uh, upgrade system. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything special for Halloween, especially since I'm going to be kind of busy then with school and stuff, so I'm not sure if I'll actually have time to do anything then. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, I feel like Takedown might already be towards the end of this race. Let's see. Yeah, they've already finished the race. They flew way past me here. Oh, I forgot about this turn completely. Should probably remember where I set my own race route to. Okay. So my car kind of took off here, actually. It's kind of surprising. Whoa! <laughs> he kind of drove straight into me. Alright. Let's see if I can make up lost ground here. Okay, so they spun out on the railroad track, so... That's good for me, I guess. Bad for them. Whoa. Another crash there. Alright, we're still going, though, at least. Oh, what happened here? Um, oh, it might have disconnected, I guess. That's unfortunate. Now is the canyons. A bit more turns, so this is my chance to try and catch up. And I kind of messed it up there. Alright, so that was not good. Let's see if we can still do anything with this. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I actually do need to cut through the off-road area. All right. Bye, have a great okay, time. I guess they missed the turn. Whoa. Ow. All right, gonna have to reset there. So I think the race ends at this speed camera, yeah. All right. Let's just finish this race first and see which one is gonna win out. Uh, if you want, you can keep typing your votes, although, try not to vote more than once. Whoa, dude. That ain't right. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Time to give him the clean racing only thought. Alright, yes, looks like they won. Ah, this traffic car right in my face. Oh, we're both kind of stuck. Oh no. Alright. This is going to be a little painful. Got that blistering fast 10 seconds 0 to 60. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa! Hey. Don't take me out. You know, I'm gonna slow down so I don't mess with the cops, because I don't think I can escape them in a tier zero car, so I'm just gonna kind of chill and let the cop take the other dude. And who is Hank with a rank 470 car? Yeah. <laughs> kind of just messing things up and around here, so please don't join with a car that is not the tier that we have listed. Whoa, it just kind of rammed me away. Okay, well, they did get arrested at least, so that works for us. Can't really do anything to catch up faster. I'm gonna take this turn here that they didn't take. Imagine drifting in a tier zero car. Alright, yeah, I imagine they probably missed the turn, and that's why they did that. They weren't trying to take a different route. Oh, but they're still faster. Nice. Alright, I'll give them the nice driving. Okay, let's let this guy get out of our way. Dang, I'm jealous. Lex's car can actually skid a little when they're accelerating. And then next is going to be Zero Hero, I think. There we go. That's a tier zero win with 412 bucks in the bank. Okay. Let's see. Bit of traffic here. Oh no, they kind of got rammed by Lex. Let's see. Might wait for them a little. Okay, I think they're 
mostly out of that mess now, so we can keep going with the race. All right, there we go. And gonna be honest, I kind of want these tier zero races to end because they're just too f slow for me. I don't know, I feel like they're kind of uneventful. It's just like you just sit there and hold down the gas pedal, basically. All right, I think I'm only going to do one more tier zero race max since this is getting a little bit repetitive. It's just so slow, not much happening. So this is also going to be my last tier zero race. Okay. I'm just gonna wait here for cops to show up. All right, so we got takedown, so I think I should probably start running a bit. MMK, LaRue Cop, and Josh. All right, so we got five cars, all rank 496. This is going to be interesting. And we already have a cop starting a cop chase. Oh no, takedown's catching up to me. All right. Okay. What if I slam the brakes? Alright, just let him go past me. Okay, so he made it back into the beach area, so at least he won't be able to catch me for now. La Rue Cop is closing in pretty fast. Oh, now I've got real cops on me, too. Mountain, I Mountain might not be the best idea, I don't know. There we go, we lost them with that quick maneuver, let them go past me. Took a bit of damage to my rear bumper, but it's not too big of a deal. So the liveries that you import have to be exported from the game first, which means that they're only going to be allowed to use the in-game vinyls and stuff like that that are already available. So in other words, if you import a livery, it's something that you could have created yourself as well. Uh, the reason I didn't want to just have like a full-on image import is because people would probably actually import inappropriate content. And so I don't want to deal with moderation for that sort of thing. Alright, I need water. Okay. Alright, I am hydrated now. This, you need water, otherwise you just feel vi like absolutely horrible. Okay, takedown's kind of catching up. Ah, I got hit. Let's see if I can land it. Ah, uh, no landing yet. Okay. So I'll count that as a win for the cops then. Okay. Where is Cake? Gotta check the map. Okay, they're out by the beach houses. We're spec cops though, so we're above the law. <laughs> okay, still heading the same way, I think. Right? Yep. They're going up the mountain now. Oh no, take down wrecked out. It's like I'm gonna have to take the lead on this one now. Okay, I see their icon. It must have crashed or something. Oh, it's a real cop that took them out. All right, we at least made contact with them. Okay, let's let's take him down. Let's take him down. All right, I think we got him. Oh, the nitrous on this car is like very strangely tuned. I forgot about this. Burns through crazy fast. I think I maxed out the nitro release rate tuning on this car, and that's why. Did they quit? Ah, looks like they left. Oh, here's Industrial Rock, by the way. Alright. Oh, they've actually got, I think, a V8 swap in their 4R, so we don't have the same V10 anymore. So here's the finish line, just into this area right here. Okay. 
Terremoto is actually a word in multiple languages. I think in Spanish and Portuguese. Maybe there's a couple others that I forgot as well. And uh, it means earthquake, which is why it actually shows an earthquake in the trailer. Oh, we need to cut through the barn here. Okay. Just barely made it through the barn doors there. I almost crashed out. Okay. Whoa. I like it, Kaji. Okay. I just kind of took out that cop there, so. And I think the end of the race is right around here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is the Battle of the Terremotos. Gotta slow down a lot for this turn. You can't really go wide to the left because of the snow, so you'll just lose grip there instead of being able to slow down properly. All right, last turn and the finish line. I think they have a V16 in that thing. That's what it sounds like. All right, so I didn't want to go too wide there on that turn because if I ended up in the snow, I would not be able to come out of the corner very quickly. I guess we can have another vote since the first one was kind of inconclusive. So you, if you have any special requests or if you want to just do another room with a specific tier or if you want to do a car show, let me know. All right, it looks like Philippe's got a Tormento. Surprised my car actually beat out theirs in acceleration. Although I think theirs is only uh, rank 435, so that might be why. All right, so looks like that's a win for us. All right. Got Cakes 4RV10. And uh, Felipe's uh, Tormento. I think I raced that earlier. Nice cars. Yeah, I like them. I like stock builds too, though, because it's a lot cleaner than some of the more like uh, messy aero builds that we have sometimes with huge spoilers. And case in point, look at Nitro's huge spoiler over there with the LaRue. All right. And let's check this car out, actually. So, got the Boxer badge. Do they have a flat engine in there, maybe? I like the LaRue badge on the uh, tailgate as well. Fits the car pretty well. Alright, nice cars. Oh, I see that uh, Zenyur's Monaco has the uh, taillight swap. Alright, cool. Alright. Who is TSK? Just the Street King, I guess. Got that uh, Kaiju R4. See, it has pearlescent paint, so... I always like pearlescent paint in real life. It's very, very striking when you look at it in person. It's, like, hard to replicate over a video game and stuff like that. Oh, rip. That's kind of funny. I guess that's the way of saying that I need to make a new room. So I didn't move for too long and got kicked from my own room. So takedown's back again. Oh, it looks like a different livery for the same GTXR build. Nice. Yeah, I guess with the livery exporter now, you guys can actually have multiple liveries for the same car. And speaking of the livery exporter, I think I'm going to make a tutorial video on how to use that sometime in the future, since it is a bit of something that does need some explaining. So, yeah, I'll expect a video tutorial for that within the few next few weeks or... Something like that. It depends on when I get around to it. <laughs> so yeah, this will be the last room. So I'm going to just hang out here, take a few more pictures. So for everyone that tuned in, thanks for watching. And yeah, I'm glad that uh, everyone was able to come in and play, race with me, show me their cars and stuff like that. This was pretty fun. I'm not too sure about uh, when the next time I might stream will be. But we'll just have to kind of see in the future, since uh, it'll kind of depend on my schedule and stuff like that, so... 
Uh, if I do have another stream in the future, I'll announce it, and so you'll be able to see. But until then, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, um, have a great rest of your day, guys.